subscribe to mastermind channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of our videos so hi guys this is basha and you're watching mastermind so friends in this session we are going to discuss some of the important questions from your physics for your revision on 5th uh, march you have your physics exams so today we are going to discuss in this session we are going to discuss some of the important questions from physics and friends uh, all the questions which we are going going to provide you they are from the model test papers of many different books which are published as per the latest cisc e curriculum and you uh, might uh, you might find this questions in your 10 years also in the past 10 years question also because it is similar i have gone through that uh, many questions are matching with that so you may find it similar so let us proceed further so friends before starting with the questions i would like to say that uh, you have to in physics you have to write all the answers to the point do not elaborate your answers if you write answers to the point then you will get full marks so let us begin first question state the laws of refraction so friends there are two laws of refraction uh, first law is that the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal to the point of incidence all lie in the same plane and the second law of refraction is the ratio of the sign of the angle of incidence to the sign of the angle of refraction is constant for the pair of given media and uh, snell's law it is also called snell's law laws of refraction is also called snell's law so if you get instead of this question if you get state the snell's law then do not get confused you need to write the same answer laws of refraction are is also called snell's law because it is named after a scientist whose title is uh, snell so it is known as snell's law second question what is lateral displacement and state two factors on which it depends so friends it is also from the same chapter that is refraction at plane surfaces so what is lateral displacement so lateral displacement is the perpendicular distance between the path of emergent ray and the direction of angle of uh, incidence or the incident ray and another question is state two factors on which it depends so lateral displacement it depends on the thickness of the glass block and the angle of incidence you can go through the answers uh, from your book also i have given the answers from your book only so that it is easier for you you can note it down since there is no space so i am not writing here second uh, third question state the energy changes in the following while in use burning of a candle So friends you need to write the change of energy when candle is burning so it is chemical energy to light and heat energy chemical energy to light and heat energy and sub part of question 3 is loud speaker so in loud speaker electrical energy is changing to sound energy electrical to sound next question uh, question number 4 define radioactivity so friends it is very easy radioactivity is the process of spontaneous emission of emission of alpha beta and gamma radiations from the nuclei of atoms during their decay and there is sub part sub part of question 4 a radioactive substance is oxidized what changes would you what change would you expect to take place in the nature of its radioactivity so friends uh, in question it is mentioned a radioactive substance is being oxidized so what change would you expect so since radioactivity is a nuclear phenomena so there will be no change so in answer you need to write that there will be no change because radioactivity is a uh, nuclear phenomena i am just writing no change next question question number 5 this is from your police uh, this is from your machines chapter chapter 3 so a block and tackle system of police has the velocity ratio 4 velocity ratio is given 4 so you need to draw a well labeled diagram of this system indicating uh, clearly the points of application and direction of directions of load and effort you need to mark the direction of load and effort and you need to draw a well labeled diagram of pulleys which has velocity ratio 4 so there will be four wheels 
So since there is no space here, I am going to draw it in a sheet. So friends, I have already made the diagram here. It is attached to a rigid support. This is the rigid support and there are four pulleys. Since there are four pulleys, uh, so four wheels are here. And if it would be, if velocity ratio would be five, then three would be here and two would be down in the lower side. And this is the effort from here. We have to apply the effort and this is the load. This is the load. So I have marked here. It is load and uh, in question it is not mentioned about tension force but I have marked the tension also. There will be 5, 1 here, 1 here, here, here and here. So I have marked the tension also if it is given in the question then you can do it. But it is not mentioned in the question to mark the tension but still I have marked. So let us continue with the other questions. This was question number 5, 1. Now question number 5, 2. Subpart 2. What is the value of the mechanical advantage of the given pulley system if it is an ideal ideal pulley system? So friends, since it is an ideal pulley system, mechanical advantage will be equal to velocity ratio here, which is 4. Velocity ratio, uh, velocity ratio is 4, so mechanical advantage will also be 4 because here it is an ideal pulley, ideal pulley system. Next question. Can the absolute refractive index of a medium be less than 1? So friends, it cannot be less than 1. Next question, why is the color red used as a sign of danger? So friends, you know that red color is used as a sign of danger because red color is scattered least by air molecules. So it can be seen from a far distance and it can even be used... Uh, during fog, in fog. So red color is used as a sign of danger. Next question. Name the process used for producing electricity by nuclear energy. So friends, this answer you are going to write to us in the comment section. And we will get back to you. I am not going to give you this answer now. I will be telling you afterwards. First comment. Uh, you, you try and you comment us. Next is. Uh, the diagram given below shows a right angled prism with a ray of light incident on the side AB. The critical angle for the glass is glass uh, for glass in 42. It is it will not be in 42 degrees. Uh, I guess it will be is 42. Yeah, sorry, it will be is 42. Is 42 degree. So copy the diagram and complete the path of the ray of light. In and out of the glass prism. So here you can see there is a diagram given. Most of the time, uh, not most of the time, almost every time there will be a diagram based question given. Uh, in, in this you will be given a ray diagram and you need to complete it in a glass prism. So this is a ray diagram. It is given. Uh, it is a right angled prism uh, whose critical angle for glass is 42 degrees. So you need to complete this diagram and uh, whenever this kind of question is given, you have to copy the diagram in your uh, answer sheet. You need to copy the diagram. So I'm going to do it over here. I've already made the diagram as it was given in the question. Now you need to complete this ray diagram. So it will, this arrow will go here. It will strike here. This is your normal. This is your normal with broken lines. You need to show the normal. And then again it will strike here and it will come out of the glass slab. Now since it is making right angle, so it will be 90 degree, hole will be 90 and if you divide it, it will be 45 and 45. 40, 45 degree and 45 degree. 45 degree plus 45 degree makes 90 degree. So this is your 90 degree hole and if you take half, then it will be 45 and 45. So this is your ray diagram. And there is one more sub part in number 9. What is the value of the angle of deviation shown by the ray? So you need to find the value of angle of deviation. So this is your uh, deviation means bending. This, this is the deviation. This light is, uh, it's not going straight since this is the glass slab. It is striking here and this is bending towards in the downward direction. So the deviation is 45 plus 45 that is 90 degree. So you need to write deviation is 90 degree. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई आर बर्न कॉस्ट बाई स्टीम मोर सीवियर देन दो कॉस्ट बाई बॉइलिंग वॉटर एट द सेम टेम्परेचर सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ऑल्सो दिस कैन ऑल्सो कम इन योर बोर्ड एग्जाम्स सो बर्न कॉस्ट बाई स्टीम आर मोर सीवियर देन दो कॉस्ट बाई बॉइलिंग वॉटर एट द सेम टेम्परेचर बिकॉज स्टीम हैज द हाइएस्ट लैटिन हीट ऑफ वेपोराइजेशन सो इट बर्न सो स्टीम बर्नस आर very severe and very painful burns which are caused by steam are very severe and very pain, painful next question is define amplitude and frequency so amplitude the maximum displacement is known as amplitude so you need to write the proper definition of amplitude uh, the maximum displacement of medium particles on either side from its mean position is called amplitude it's given in your physics book you can check it and second is frequency the number of waves which passes through a point in one second is called frequency next question question number 12 mention one difference between reflection of light from a plane mirror plane mirror and total internal reflection of light from a prism you need to write one difference between reflection of light from plane mirror and total total internal reflection of light from a prism so friends the reflection from a plane mirror depends upon the polishing of the poli polishing of the surface whereas in prism it is not so it does not depend upon the polishing of the surface and the light is totally reflected in prism light is totally reflected it is not absorbed but in your plane mirror uh, a little amount of light is being absorbed by the plane mirror totally it is not reflected 100% it is not reflected next question of the three connecting wires there are three connective wires live wire neutral wire and uh, earth wire so of the three connecting wires in a household circuit which two of the three wires are at the same potential so friends you need to write out of three wires that is live wire neutral wire and earth wire which wire have the same potential which of the two wires wires among the three have the same potential so it is neutral and earth wire neutral and earth wire next in which of the three wires should the switch be connected so friends this answer also you are going to write to us in the comment section and we'll get back to you next question when does the nucleus of an atom become radioactive becomes radioactive should be becomes actually uh, when does the nucleus of an atom becomes radioactive so friends the nucleus of an at atom becomes radioactive when the atomic number of an element is more than 82 when the atomic number is more than 82 next question what is meant by an echo so friends echo is the reflection of sound wave when it strikes the rigid surface and mention one important condition that is necessary for an echo to be heard distinctly so friends in your book uh, might be given three or four uh, three or four points might be given you need to write any one important condition that is necessary for an echo to be heard distinctly so one important condition is that to hear an echo distinctly the minimum distance the minimum distance uh, between the source of sound and the reflector must be 17 meter minimum distance between source of sound and the reflector must be 17 meter then the echo will be heard distinctly next question uh, sub part of 15 number 15 mention one important use of echo so friends uh, one important use of echo is that uh, it is used for echo is used in sonar that is uh, sonar the full form of sonar is sound navigation and sound navigation and ranging Uh, so it is used in sound navigation and ranging to find the depth of an obstacle in the sea 
it is used to find the depth of an obstacle in the sea next question out of alpha beta and gamma radiations out of alpha beta and gamma radiations which radiation is the most penetrating so friends you uh, you know this gamma is gamma rays is the most penetrating gamma radiation is most penetrating i have just given the symbol of gamma after that next question which radiations are negatively charged so friends beta radiations are negatively charged beta radiations so friends thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to us and give the thumbs up button and if you have any queries related to your board exams then you can write to us in the comment section